My name is Lutz Lang, I'm a solution architect with Weaveworks and I want to talk to you about how you can manage your applications with GitOps and how our UI helps you with that. Before we dive into the UI part, um, there is a few basic things that we need to look at when we're talking about application management and GitOps. There is two different general approaches with this and one is to put your YAML files in Git. This is a very quick way to start. It's very easy to adjust and very flexible, but it uh, is not easy to define versions and it's not easy to tie this down. On the other hand, we have Helm charts um, that are put into a Helm repository. You can think of this as something like an RPM package or a Debian package, if you will. So it's pre-built, um, it's versioned, it's easy to deploy and update, but someone has to build and update these packages as well. As a general approach for both things, um, when we want to deal with, that, with them in GitOps, we need to create Kubernetes objects for them. And uh, this is always two objects. One is the source and the other one I call component. Um, and uh, one is the where is the stuff and how can I access it? So with the YAML based approach, this would be a Git repository Kubernetes object. And the other one is um, what uh, do I select from this source um, in terms of a path or directory, um, for example. And with the YAML-based approach, we are using a customization here. The customization selects a path in the Git repository and applies all the YAML objects therein to the cluster. When we look at the Helm chart-based approach, we will find that there is a Helm repository that defines where the charts reside, and then a Helm release object, and the Helm release object selects the Helm chart, the version, and we get a way to um, select values as well that are used as parameters to um, install the Helm charts therein. These are the two different ways that we have on, on managing or adding applications in a GitOps way to Kubernetes clusters. And we're making use of these in our Weave GitOps UI. And we have two different approaches here. One is an add application flow that we've built and that is um, available in the UI. It's um, actually quite flexible um, and has a little bit of magic to it. Um, uh, but it also has uh, the downside of not uh, being um, manageable in the UI flow directly. So I can't edit it uh, directly in the UI. I have always the chance to go to my Git repository and change things, of course. Um, it's pull based, uh, requ um, pull request based, and we can take a look at this uh, in the demo um, as well. And then there's the templates based, uh, based approach. So templates is something that we have and we've GitOps for quite a while, and we've now extended this to the application realm. So we can use our templating engine, and this is a very flexible way of uh, creating any object that I want with any value that I want. While the application add application flow is uh, quite static, this is something that I can customize and do uh, things that are not possible with the add application flow. But currently there are no fancy fields. So what we have on the add application flow is a chart selector or a chart version selector, and I can edit my YAML values in the UI. This is currently not possible in the templates. Still a pull based, um, pull request based approach. And this is uh, an additional added value. We can now use day two edit and management flows through the UI. What does this look like? Let's switch to the, um, to the uh, demo environment. And we are on demo three demo environment. I'm in the applications tab. If I click add application, that's the add application flow. I can select a cluster. Um, let's select Dev Team 33, for example, and then I can select a source. So for this flow, for the add application flow, as it was said on the slide, we do assume that the sources, the Git repository or the Helm repository, have already been created. And they have, and these are the objects that we can see here. So there is, for example, a webinar app Postgres, and I could now add a customization to the Git repository. Here's the path that I would select, uh, that I would put into of the UI and then I could authenticate and create a pull request and that would create a customization. The second thing here is that I can create Helm release objects and when I select a Helm repository I do get this 
selection menu, I can select one of the available uh, charts. I could uh, select an available version and enter the namespace it should be installed into. And I can also uh, put in um, or customize the values um, that are used to install the chart. Same here, authenticate, create pull request, merge the pull request, and then the application pops up in the cluster. But what, what I really wanted to demonstrate here is the new templating feature. For the new templating feature, I have selected the templates. If I go to the filters here, you can see that there are now three different, three different types of templates. Uh, an application template, cluster template, Terraform template, and the application template is the new one. I select the application template, and uh, I have a deploy pod info chart um, template here. So this is obviously dealing with a Helm chart um, that should be deployed. I've extracted an, a few parameters here and defaulted them uh, with certain values. So this goes a bit quicker. It's very flexible. You can build this any way you want, really. Um, this is just a simple demo that uh, installs uh, the pod info chart in the version 0015 into the pod info namespace. And I can select, do I want to create a namespace or not? I say, I will want to create that namespace. And I can uh, put in an FQDN here, pod info dot weavegitops.com. So let's go through the motion and authenticate through GitHub. Once that is done, I can create a pull request. And this pull request, we can take a look at that pull request and see the details of it. So there's the link to the PR. And if I click on that, I get sent to GitHub because that's what I'm using here. And I can view the details. This is the file that will be created here in my Git repository. And it's actually a Helm release. Um, it's what I need. And I've um, put metadata on this here. Oh, that's the FQDN that I've used. Um, then there is values in here that are added um, through the templating engine. These ones and these ones, and uh, they can then will be used by the UI to allow me the day two management of this. This is actually from the app charts uh, repository that was predefined on this cluster and then the 0015 version of the chart. Let's merge this. Once this goes to merged, I can go back to uh, my applications list and I can filter for the management cluster and I want something in flux system and it should be a customization because there it is. I want to give this a nudge um, so that the reconciliation is uh, started now and uh, my helm put in for uh, comes up a little bit quicker. Type customization. Let's go and look for the Helm release. Helm releases here. Usually takes a little while for this to pop up. Oh, there it is. Helm pod info. That's the one that I have requested. So, Helm release, um, chart type pod info. It's um, called Helm pod info. And I have this in version 0015. And this is actually my metadata that I have provided in here. So uh, I could reach the application by clicking through this link if I wanted to. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to point out is what we get here is um, this pen. And this pen allows me to edit the Helm release. Oh, there we are, back again. This does look like the template. And it has all the values that I have filled in. And I can adjust things. So if I don't like the version that I had, well, create a pull request with the change that I want. So I put in 0014 now. Waiting on the PR in GitHub. You can look at what is changing. Actually, this part is changing where we have the values uh, that have changed and the version is changing. So, well, let's go for it. Merge the pull request. It is merged. Let's go back. 
to the uh, list and to the management cluster. Um, oh, I'm on the cluster list. Um, to the applications and the management cluster. Let's look for things in Flux system. I only want to see the customizations. And then there is the Flux system customization here. Give this a nudge and wait for <coughs> for the change on my management cluster helm release. Don't want to see the customizations. There's the helm port info. That's actually already updated 16, 16 seconds ago. And this is all the different ways that you can use to add an application to the cluster from the UI. Um, and I've demonstrated uh, the add, app add application template and the day two management that we have. So you can easily change um, options and versions and things like that um, when you need them. Thank you for your attention.